is it possible that you your personality is you almost I don't know how to explain this. You 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 there's a part of your psychology you at one point had something with opiates and I know you did went into rehab and and I, it was that the mask pain when you got into that. Well, why did you get into that? Great point. So, like this is in in the Phillies like when I had after six seven surgeries and you know, when we played back then, it's like you can you, t- you 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 can't play. What? Just take more take more stuff. Out drug it. Right. So, but my teammates, I'd see them drinking 18, 20 beers to have to get the pain away. You didn't want to do and that. And I said to my trainer, like, hey, I'm always kind of ahead of the curve. Like, isn't there something easier I can do so I'm not hung over? I got to play tomorrow. So he gives me this little white pill. And I have one drink. I thought I reinvented the wheel. I said, I got him again, man. I'm ready to play. I have go crazy. And then you got addicted to whatever well, that was. Go fast forward, right, because nothing's for free in this world. What was that, by the way? Uh, opiates, Vicodin, Vicodin the ass. Okay. And, but but I didn't do it because I wanted to do it. I did it because I had to do it to get on the field. I, I've heard now that they are testing guys at their homes. Yeah, oh yeah, it's, uh, the drugs are out. But but again, you know, I had a real issue with the Hall of Fame, though, because how can the three best players in the, in the history of baseball not be in the Hall of Fame? Bonds? I mean, whether Bonds, you like him or don't like him. Unbelievable talent. I mean, I didn't like him. We used to walk him every time. I used to tell our pitchers, why do you do that? Just drill him in the neck. Make it easier. You know, Clemens and Pete Rose. You know, Pete Rose, I know he was just on your show. I saw it. And, you know, I played my first game in Cincinnati. I broke in there. He was the first base player coach, player manager. So I got my first hit. I get to first. Pete says, congratulations, kid. You only got 4,000 to go to catch me. <laughs> That's so Pete Rose. <laughs> Lenny Dykstra is joining us. Three-time All-Star, 86 World Series. Did I want to take steroids? No. But I literally could not make it through a full season playing every day. I'm a, I'm a small guy. It wasn't that I forgot how to hit. I was just too weak. I mean, so I needed something to keep me strong throughout the whole season. I'm not, I'm not you know... I mean, so in August, uh, the bat felt like a telephone pole. So on my contract here, 90, I didn't know what to do. I was living in Mississippi, and I just called up some hillbilly doctor uh, and there, and I said, I need to make an appointment. I told him the whole story. I, Look, this year is going to determine whether I get paid and be an everyday player or not, so I need something to keep me strong. And I went and read about this guy, Ben Johnson, the first guy to use uh, the, the runner. So I went to the library, and I said, I need Deca Durabolin. So he says, okay, and he writes it. I wait in line at Rite Aid, get the script. He says, come back, I'll show you how to do it. Yeah. So then I hire a trainer, and I show up in spring training like a Greek statue, 190. Okay, now I lead the league in hits. I hit, hit 325, hit 400 in June, cover Sports Illustrated. You think they work? Maybe. 